Like, sejam bem-vindos a mais um Responde. Também responde especial, edição finalistas. Então a gente tá aqui pra falar um pouquinho sobre a nossa última série contra a Luz e sobre as expectativas, sobre a semana de treinos pra grande final contra a Laura. Ok, so let's start with you, Kaka. Ah, no, I know. What happened after the third game against Los? Why was it so hard to, to finish this series? <laughs> Why was it for me? Because you are the leader. I think we were playing well in the third game, but we did some things that were out of our map. We tried to do some things that we didn't do for the first time. So I think the game was very difficult. We ended up losing it. And then the other players were more confident, and we started to play better. It was a little difficult. Okay, next question is for you, Jiro. Oh, Jiro is here? Wow, Jiro! Oh, yes. 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 Hello, Jiro. So, fans want to know the secret to arrive to the third consecutive final and being always since 2020 on the top three and the secret to, to, to be so resilient. Do you have the secret? I don't know. Don't want to start bad. For sure, right? Yeah, of course. We were trying best since the beginning, but I think Even not us, everyone has uh, some moment to, to be bad. Some moment, I think. <laughs> like the most important thing is like, don't look look the back when we were bad. And if we know what we have to do clearly, doesn't matter like how what's going. We shouldn't matter how it's gonna be going. We focus there, everyone. Presente. Everyone have their time to be bad, but unluckily we were all in the same time. <laughs> Everyone was bad at the same time. And so now it's in the beginning. Yeah. Okay, next question for Damage and Pivas. Pivas. You guys are always talking about evolution and evolution and evolution and evolution. When you can see. And evolution. <laughs> the question is like that. So and that's evolution. great to hear, knowing you, you guys are going better, but is it finally enough to win on Saturday? Ah, uh, if you play correctly, of course, but I still think we can improve more. Okay, next question with our mid and jungle. In the last pain responded, you guys said you guys didn't use your 100% against Loud. But now, against Los, Los since it was five games, you guys kind of need to show a lot of different picks. And how much did that pay off? I don't think we used everything we had against Los. We still have some picks. Something more to show. It's not only about picks inside the game, like our macro, our standards, uh, the way we play. I think that was the most different thing between our best games and our games against Loud. It's not only about picks or draft, it was only, uh, more about how we play the game. The so. way we play. And I guess Luz, we can we can say we were trying to save some some picks to to the final, but I mean they have they had like their good moments of the series too. That's why they could be back on the two two. So we should have we should show what we have. What can we do? Now we should prepare better what we have already and be be able to play more things if we need to. I guess not. Não dá pra gente usar tudo em qualquer draft, tá ligado? A gente tem que ter uma situação específica para poder usar alguns picks. Então, a gente ainda tem algumas coisas para usar, não é que a gente guardou, é que a gente não tem a oportunidade de usar. But we have a one secret weapon. Mm. Only one? Only one. Only one. Yeah. Yeah. Really secret, no one knows. Even <laughs> <laughs> <Next. Yeah, we laughs> <don't> know. <laughs> ok, next question is again for Jer. It uh, looks like our drafts are always pre-setup, what means that like we don't change that much, you know, are like kind of predictable. So how can we change that or how to deal with specific picks from one game in the next one, you know? The uh, problem is I can predict T1 draft too when I see the series. FPL teams too is it's not like, point is not uh, predictable. I mean, if we give them some pick that we could predict and if we can match, and also it's good for us, we just do that. So, I don't much care about that thing. Right? This game is uh, being 10 years, right? We go with this. There is no secret, actually. Don't need to be surprised. Yeah. What the f okay, next question is for you, Jinkido. What's your opinion on everywhere, everyone saying Loud's gonna win easily? Loud fans asking that question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I like to be kind of underdog in this situation. I feel like we can have 
a bit less pressure on the beginning of the series. Of course, we have our pressure and, uh, it, and it's enough, but I like to be more relaxed. I think we, we can deal better with the series uh, uh, with this. And I hope they disrespect us. They disrespect us. So they think they are better. They think we can't win, so we can show even better game against them. Okay, next question is for everyone, so everyone can answer. The series against Los was complicated and the fear was real, but in, we ended up winning. So, despite having shown picks that were probably saved for later for the finals, do you think that winning after a complicated series boosted your confidence? Do you guys feel more ready now that 15 years ago? 15 years, no, sorry, 15, 15 years days ago. ago. A lot of people saying about our picks that we showed a lot of different picks and that we were saying for finals, but. I did practice a lot with Loud too, you know, even for against Los. So they kind of knew everything we, we showed, you know, it was not a secret like Jira says. We can't create new picks. You know? In this stage of the tournament, everyone knows everyone, you know, we can't hide anything. It's and we showed like meta champions, so yeah, nothing, they expect us to play special. that champions and they say. We should just play better than me. And you guys, are you guys more confident now than two weeks ago? Yes, of course, I'm more confident. Even the last games was kind of bad, but we managed to win. But I think we kind of show our power on the first two games. I think if you play in our way, they can't win against us. I have a lot of confidence. I, I, I just want to beat them. Best. I can't wait. Anymore. Again, for everyone, what do you guys feel is the main difference between now, between these finals and last Spain finals? <laughs> for sure, that's the biggest difference, no? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> 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 Literally, <laughs> outra pessoa. Não vai para próximo então. Ah, tô muito mais confiante agora. Eu sinto que, é, igual falo no Spain Point, a gente continua evoluindo, a gente continua aprendendo, então. É, Desde a série da Lula a gente já está aprendendo mais coisas, então a gente sempre está evoluindo, sempre está mostrando um jogo melhor. Então por isso que eu estou mais confiante para essa final também. Eu já disse que às vezes, em alguns entrevistas ou em algumas coisas, que para mim a maior diferença é que nós não paramos de melhorar todo o tempo. Desde o começo do split até agora, nós ainda continuamos melhorando nas nossas bases, nas nossas novas coisas, o que seja. E no último split, eu realmente senti que nós não podíamos be much better than we were, so uh, for me that's the biggest difference for sure. A gente viu alguns erros que a gente fez contra a Loud, por exemplo, na série, e eu acho que na MDC contra a Loud, a gente conseguiu é, fazer do jeito certo, então isso já mostra que a gente conseguiu melhorar com nossos erros e que a gente não para de evoluir também. Concordo. 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 And last question, it's for you, Damage. For me? Yeah. For the finals, have you already prepared your lucky underwear? Wow. <laughs> I don't have any more. Não tem coquinha da sorte. Não, porque você é luz, last final. Então, vai dar uma isso. Todas as últimas finais estavam com ela, né? Se tivesse todas as finais com ela, com certeza não ia ser da sorte. Né? <risos> e até uma coisa errada que eu tenho. <risos> então, família, chegamos aí ao último, talvez o último que responde, não sei se é o último já, mas ah, talvez o último que responde do minha vida. <risos> do split. Eu queria agradecer vocês, desde o começo que estavam aí apoiando a gente. A gente começou difícil, a gente lembra dos primeiros que responde, os primeiros por dentro do game foram... Né? Uh. Foram duros de fazer, mas felizmente a gente conseguiu voltar aí e estamos aí mais uma vez numa final, querendo dar um resultado totalmente diferente para vocês do ano passado, certo? Tamo junto, amanhã vai ter uma ótima party aqui no office, vocês fiquem à vontade, tá? Eu permito que vocês fiquem à vontade aqui na minha casa, tamo junto, beijo para todos. É o nosso jogo, é, queria agradecer a torcida de vocês sempre, é, nos momentos ruins e bons vocês estão aí, tanto para criticar como para elogiar também, isso é muito importante para a gente. É, amanhã a gente vai, vai ter uma festa aqui, né? Vocês vão estar aqui passando pela gente. E com certeza a gente vai estar assistindo a energia de vocês lá no stage, como a gente sempre sente. Vamos trazer esse título, a gente quer muito ganhar, vai ser. Eu sonho com isso faz um tempo já. Então, bora, bora tudo de novo. Copia! É, Copia minha frase. Pra mim, this movie is never ending without winning. And for me, Pain, pain Gaming is main character. Don't forget and don't lose the fright of the Pain Gaming. And also our players, our fans. And we're gonna make it. Nice. E chegamos ao fim de mais um Pen Responde. Ah. Ah. Novamente, que os meninos falaram, muito obrigado pelo apoio durante o split inteiro, pelos xingamentos, pelos elogios, a gente sabe que faz parte. 
e enfim, é, a gente tá muito preparado para amanhã, pro final de amanhã, então a gente conta com a energia de vocês, com a torcida de todos vocês e até a próxima.